How's it going guys? Today we're working on the 350Z. I'm gonna get you guys caught up real quick. But yeah, we got this thing completely stripped down. I got it up in the air, got everything up and run this thing. The fuel lines, brake lines, the suspension, gas tank, everything. Which like, so that's pretty much the plan. Get this thing stripped down, paint it one shade of white, and then just switch everything off of the crashed HR car onto this. So I'm actually surprised at like how much stuff is different between the DE car and the HR car. So I've noticed a lot of stuff for just taking this thing apart and looking at that one so yeah I've already got the paint booth kind of going up not finished with that yet but I'll kind of go into detail and show you guys what I got going on in the next video hopefully this weekend we'll be painting the car so I'll cover all that when I do that video <laughs> but yeah I'll give you a quick look at the car real quick got some interesting stuff going on like I said um some holes and stuff that I had to cut for the LS swap but I'm probably like I said for the HR car this is like the brake booster line. Well, it's, it's like up here. But this right here is where I was using the brake booster line for the LS engine. So I'll probably leave that there. And this one was for like the clutch line that was running to the you know, T56. So I'll probably just end up putting a plug in this one. This is the throttle cable. Plug those guys and just use this one for the, uh, for the brake booster for the uh, HR engine. So. But leaving the hood hinges on here, like so this car has been put together like three different times. As you can tell, these were off of the gray car that we had. Um, door hinges, same way, just to kind of save me the headache of adjusting them and make sure they get painted and look good when you open the door. Leaving those on there. I uh, got the door jams all sanded, got the roof sanded. Um, I'm debating on whether I want to take the front windshield out and like the quarter glasses. I really just want to make sure like I don't have a hard edge. I just want to make sure, like right up here. I don't think I'll be able to mask that off and actually make it look good. So I probably will end up removing these. But I just don't want to make a lot of work for myself. But I just don't see a I think that's gonna be the better way to go. So might end up removing them, I don't know. But this is that damage from the drift event where like I was having an issue with the handbrake and the rear brakes like dragging and locking up and straightened up and put me into the barrier. Which it like then the barrier hit the door which put that big crease in it which I, I actually picked up another door to replace it and then like spun around and just barely you know grazed right here over that little lip and put a big crease in it so i'm working on getting that taken care of i got the fenders all rolled and cleaned up a little bit so i have to you know repaint those guys found some rust like right here in these little corners which I'm not too too worried about this side over here it's like really good but I cut out all the rust and like I said I'll just treat the metal in here and then I'll just put a little you know a little patch over it and I got some under you know some undercoating that I'll spray up under the car kind of help with some of that surface rust so yeah probably didn't have to go to this extreme and strip it down this much I just kind of I don't know I just didn't want it to look like it was a Mako paint job which it's probably gonna look worse than a Mako paint job but as long as it's one shade of white that's all I care about like when I pop the hatch you can see how like yellow this was that drove that irritated me like crazy yeah that's pretty much where we're at with this thing um like i said i gotta do a little bit more sanding fix that i gotta do a lot more sanding because i have to like sand the front bumper the back bumper the doors the fender all that stuff none of that stuff's been touched so <sighs> yeah i'm not i'm not a, a body guy i can't stand sanding and stuff like that but we'll get through it like I said, I need to get the main goal. It's like hopefully by this weekend, hoping for this weekend. I don't want to jinx it, but hoping I can get the chassis of the car completely done. So the under the under the uh, undercarriage painted with a you know that rust inhibitor, whatever you want to call it, and get the engine bay 
the roof, like all that, the whole chassis painted, <laughs> just like one shade of white. So then I can like start taking the uh, crashed HR car apart and switching everything over. So yeah, but I gotta get all this stuff painted because like that's gonna it's gonna be it's a lot of work, but it'll be worth it. Cause this this won't be like a DE car with it's been HR swap. It's just gonna be an HR car. So everything's coming off that car and going on this thing. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of work, but like I said, it'll be worth it. Like I said, I'm looking forward to getting this thing together and actually going and drifting. You know, and I keep taking stuff apart and not having a car to actually go and have fun with. So I'm not doing it to this car again. Leaving the car together. <laughs> right, so I'm not really, I'm not really like a 350Z guy, but I do, I do like this car. I, this car, uh, like I said, let me put it together three different times. I keep taking it apart, but like I said uh, I've actually got the most seat time in this car. I've been to more drift events in this car, so and that's the plan with this thing. I just want to get it back together. Basically, like I said, just I want a stock. I don't want no exhaust, nothing. Just you know, coilovers, angle kit, a seat, stuff like that. But anyway, that's enough of me rambling. I just wanted to get a quick video of the car the way it is right now. So you guys could check it out. That way, you know, you don't see it, you know, a week from now. It's like, holy cow, that thing is painted. So, yeah. So let you guys see it the way it is now. That way we can get a before and after. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> but, all right. That's pretty much it. I'll leave you guys with some, you know, close-up shots of the car. So we'll have some, like I said, before and afters. And in the next video, this weekend, hopefully, I'll show you guys the finished paint booth, what we're gonna be using for paint, guns, compressor, and all that stuff, everything I'm gonna be using. And we'll start putting some paint on this thing. And then hopefully, next weekend, we'll start putting it back together. But let me stop right there and get ahead of myself. But anyway. That's it for now. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Appreciate you.